Hello everybody, Wildfire00972 here, and welcome back to the Pearl Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we did some stuff in the underground, well, technically the last half episode. In the last full episode, we got here to Eterna City. Yes. In this episode, however, we're gonna go take a look around Eterna City. Take a look at this statue real quick. There's some writing on the Pokemon statue. Birth of Pal... Creator of parallel dimension, alive yet not alive, rifts in space, to arrive in the same universe, the blessing of pop. The text is barely legible and has faded completely in places. I wonder what that means. They say this is a Pokemon that lived long, long ago. Huh. Alright, let's take a look around the city. Because honestly, there's some places I forgot about. Eterna came to be long ago in honor of ancient Pokemon. But many things have changed, what is important has not. I hope it remains that way forevermore. I will say the Pokemon statue when I was a wee child and used to be the centerpiece of many festivals. <coughs> Man, it really hurts doing their voices. Alright. So, I'm going to take a quick detour to Route 211, because I think before we go tackle the gym, we should do a little bit of training, because the highest level the gym leader has is 22, which is fairly high level. So, let's take a little time to... Well, first we need to catch a Pokemon here, and I have in mind what I want to get, and I really hope I find it. And what's this right here? Oh! Okay, my encounter for Route 211 is... A Metatite. That's not what I wanted at all. Darn. Oh well. I really wanted Ponyta. Well, what can you do? Look at the draw. Yeah, it's just, you just keep using that Detect move. It's only gonna work once. I'm gonna use Defense Curl. And of course it doesn't use Detect again. Wonderful. She can meditate, which could be a little dangerous. It's still using Meditate. Still could be very, very dangerous. Okay, still using Meditate. I really don't know what all it has, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the ball. I only have three balls. Don't say a word. One, two, three. Okay, I got it. Now, what to name this thing? Hmm... Meditite, the Meditate Pokemon. It never misses its daily yoga workout, and it heightens its sp spiritual power through meditation. I really wanted Ponyta because the next gym we're going up against is a grass one. I don't want to have to rely on Pancake the entire time. And since it's got its legs in a funny pose, I'm gonna name her... Pretzel. Alright, so I guess we'll go ahead and fight some trainers, I suppose, once I go heal. That's important, I need to go heal. And what would I have gotten next? If it's a Ponyta, I'm gonna scream. Good, it's a Beedoo. So, that would have been encounter number two, had Metatite not have showed up. Well, that'd be Dupes Clause number one, if Metatite didn't show up. Encounter number three is Metatite again. So it's pretty safe to say Metatite is what I would have gotten. And I really need a fire type. Well, here's encounter number four for the heck of it. Another Metatite. And you know, one more encounter for the heck of it just to see if I had any chance of finding Ponyta. Any chance at all. Just any chance. 
Nope, it would have been a Chingling. Okay. Well, I got Metatite, I guess it's something. So I guess we'll just head back to Echona City. I have to remember, here I could go fishing, or surf for stuff. So, cool. I can come back here and get stuff. Much later on in the game. So, let's go ahead and heal. Welcome to the Pokemon Center! Please respond my Pokemon. Now, I'm still thinking whether or not I should use, like, <clears throat> Jelly Bean. Oh, that reminds me. I was thinking it over right after I nicknamed it. I spelt Jelly Bean wrong. Technically, Jelly Bean is two words, not one. So I'm going to go change that in a sec. Let's take a look at Pretzel. It has a bold nature. Don't know what that does. Again, I have to go look it up. Hold on one sec. A bold nature raises defense but lowers attack. That's probably not that good. Yeah, probably not that good. As bide, meditate, confusion, and detect. So, not awful, just not all that great. So, I'm gonna hold off on using meditate, unless I need it. So, <clears throat> real quick, I'm gonna go change Jelly Bean's name. <clears throat> I don't know if it'll come in a lot of handy in the next gym. Because rock is, well, weak to grass. This is where you change the nicknames of Pokemon, in this building right next to the Mart. You have to talk to this guy. Hello, hello, I am the official name rater. Want me to rate the names of your Pokemon? Yes. Which name, which Pokemon's name should I critique? You know what just hit me? He's not really rating the nickname. Jelly Bean, is it? That's a decent nickname. But would you like to give it a better nickname? How about it? Yes. Ah, oh, good then. What should the new nickname be? He doesn't rate the name. He gives you the nicknames. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna name it... Jelly... Darn it! Bean. There. Two words like it should be. Done. From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Jelly Bean. It's a better nickname than before. Yes, that one space makes it all the more better. How fortunate for you. That one space and the, the uppercase B really brings out the name. Much better than useless old Jelly Bean. <laughs> Loser. Alright. So for now, I'm going to put Jelly Bean back. I'm still debating whether or not I should use it. And before I go tackle the gym, let's go fight some of the trainers on Route 211. So, let's go. Now, I'm really gonna hate this next gym because it's all grass types, and as you may tell, the only Pokemon that could really do much is Pancake. Well, even though, uh, what's his name, Kira could do a little something, he's still significantly weaker than everyone else. Zubat, doesn't that sound like a ninja bursting for, from cover? No, that sounds like the name of a bat. I don't know how you think that's a battle cry, Zack. Carrot. Let's go. Let's use Pound. Oh, that did a lot, actually. Ah! Supersonic missed. That's good. Almost there. Using Bite. Hopefully that won't do too much. Okay, that didn't do much. Alright. That's done. 150 experience points. Still another Zubat. So, looks like he's gonna have three of them. Alright. So, 
Oh, that time it hit. Great. Luckily, Zubat's not really a great attacker. Alright. I think one more pound. Well, one more pound will do the trick, but can I pull it off? Oh, out of boy, carrot. I think being a clutch confusion would last longer, but nope, guess not. Oh, good. Made it to level 15. Let's send out Zubat, and let's keep Carrot out. Carrot is on a roll. Now, this one's at level 15, so it's stronger. But its defense is significantly weaker than the other ones. At least I did three damage. How terrifying. And just watch, it's gonna hang on by one HP. Just watch. Oh, okay, not quite one HP. Okay. This should do the trick. Alright, go carrot. 132 experience. Ninja Boy Zack. Oh, my Zubat Tri Stars. Tri Stars? That's new. Let's go fight this guy. See how Mount Coronet towers above us? I want to be big like that one day. You keep working on that, Pally. We have Hiker Lewis. He has a Geodude, so I'm gonna have to switch out from Pancake of uh, Carrot, because he can't really do anything. Oh, poor Carrot's significantly weaker. Let's switch out to Apple. Alright. Well, that worked. <laughs> so let's use Mega Drain on it. That should do the trick. Alright, that worked. And now, we have 117 experience for both of us. Onyx. I'm just going to keep Apple out. I'm not even, not even going to bother switching out back to Carrot. Find. That'll do nothing. Four dam three damage. How terrifying. Yay. And we're fully healed again. 346. That's actually quite a lot. Oh, not quite to level 18. A powerful presence towers before me. It is you! Why, thank you, I guess. So let's break this rock with Rock Smash. Good thing I brought a potato along. Something I forgot to mention, you can find Pokemon when using Rock Smash, though not as common. But though it doesn't just happen as often. Look at these beautiful wings! Oh no, are you a bird trainer? You are. Bird Keeper Alexandria has a hoot hoot. Okay. Oh, it's level 19. Well, the only Pokemon that can really do anything for this is Pancake, so let's send out Pancake. Alright. Let's see. Cutting attack is always good. It's using Foresight. That does nothing. It doesn't matter if you hit me with the ghost type move. Let's use wing attack. See how much this does. I'm one level weaker. That did a lot, actually. It's using reflect. Doesn't that raise special defense? Nope, just regular defense. So I'm gonna use quick attack. Okay, one more wing attack should do the trick. That's using peck. Oh wow, six damage. This is nothing. 
Oh, come on! We're almost there! Alright. Now, I may have to just end up using Pancake throughout the entire gym. I don't want to have to do that. But, it may have to end that way. Alright. Oh, you! I'm gonna peck you for that! Where are you gonna peck me? On the cheek? On the lips? On the... Why am I thinking about that? TM12 Taunt. I never talked about this. Taunt is a move that makes it so the opponent can only use moves that attack. So if I were to use it during the gym trainer fight, the gym, gym leader couldn't use any moves that paral paralyze me or poison me or use growth. Things like that. It's actually really useful. But I don't know if I'll be using it right away. So, I guess the only thing we can really do is... I guess go start tackling the gym. And I may have to do a little bit of off-screen training, but hopefully I won't resort to that. And by looking at this guide I have here, hold on. The gym, the gym's weakest Pokemon is at level 13, and that's the second trainer. So, maybe not quite as bad as I thought. So, I guess we'll go ahead and start tackling it. I may just have to use... Where am I going? I forgot where the gym is. How embarrassing. I'm sorry. Hold on. I gotta find it. I may have to just use... Here it is. Use carrot. Not carrot. Um, Darn it. Move! I may have to use, uh, what's his name? Pancake. Throughout the whole thing. And here's an item back here. It's a free super potion. That could come in handy. You know, before I forget, I'm going to go buy some stuff. Because I'm going to need some stuff. So, let's buy a few super potions. I'll make it a total of four. Some regular potions have 20 and some pokeballs I'll buy 10 actually no I'll just buy 9 there we'll get a lot of money in the next gym fight so it's not like it's going to waste so let's go ahead and start fighting some trainers I don't think I'll be fighting the gym leader in this episode but we'll at least get all the trainer fights out of the way so let's go Gardenia. At my gym, no one gets to battle with me, the gym leader, until they've beaten all the other trainers. Isn't that how it goes usually? I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, Challenger! Now this gym always bugged me because... Take a look at the camera angle. I mean, that's just... It's very disorient. It's very disorienting. You may be wondering, what the heck do I do? Well, you need to find a certain trainer in here. And I honestly don't remember where she is, so I'm going to have to look around for a sec until I find her. Oh, there she is. You see her? Right here. So am I all healed up? Looks like it. So, let's fight her. How did you know where to find me? Let's have our battle! Well, it's not like you were a needle in the haystack. We have Last Caroline. She has a Cheruby. All right, let's fight this sucker. Let's use Pound on it. Not too bad. It's using Leech Seed and you avoided the attack. Good job. And it's using Tackle. Hopefully that won't do too much. Ah! More than I expected, but still nothing. Oh, nice. So, 217 experience. Okay, we're close. Um, hold on, I want to check something. Who's closest to getting a level? Carrot has 56. Pancake is 451. Apple has 26. And Celery has 691. So, uh, 
Hmm. I think I might just leave Carrot out. Uh, actually, no, I'll just go ahead and switch to Pancake, because Rosalia is a lot stronger than Badoo, and any of her other Pokemon for that matter, which is Cherubi. What am I getting at? I'm just gonna wing attack into the face and get it over with. Alright, okay, Intimidate is always a plus. So let's use Wing Attack. And let's see how much this does. Alright, one hit KO. Way to go. 487 experience points? That's a lot. And that's enough for a level 19. Nice. I was going to beat you while you were still in a state of shock. Why would I be in a shock? I mean, you're good looking, but... Okay, the next trainer is at the end. Past the two boulders, I think. The two boulders, huh? Well, let's see. Where are those two boulders? They're not here, apparently. So, let's see. Oh, there she's down there. I guess here's one boulder. And here's two boulder. Well, yeah, here are the two boulders. So, let's go ahead and fight her next. My grass-type Pokemon can do can dole out some serious special attacks. I will let you win easily. Well, we'll see. <clears throat> Have Badoo. We'll send out Carrot. Use Pound. See how much it does. Okay, that did about half. It's using Absorb. Let's see how much that does. The move I gotta be concerned for is Mega Drain. Okay, Absorb didn't do too much. It's like four damage. It's Mega Drain I need to be worried about. Uh, what would it get to do a critical? Oh, of course, I'm paralyzed. Isn't that the nature of things? Whenever you want to win, you get paralyzed. And it's using Water Sport. Well, it doesn't matter because I don't have a Fire type because I never got Ponyta. Alright, let's just finish it off. Alright. Not bad. Level 16. Ooh! Quick Attack! Nice! We should forget Foresight. I'm never going to use that move ever. Quick attack. I love this move. Let's go ahead and keep it out, I guess, and try out Quick Attack. And it's level 13, so it's weaker. So, Quick Attack. Let's go. And look at him living through that paralysis. Ooh, and it even did half damage. It's still using a water sport. I mean, really? Still using water sport. I don't have a fire type. So, you're just wasting a turn. Come on. Finish it off. Come on. There we go. And we have one last Badoo. I'll go ahead and keep it out. We have one at level 15. That could be a little bit more dangerous, but I think we should be able to live through it. Now that we have a massive quick attack, and it's still using Absorb, hopefully it won't do a lot. Okay, that did 4 damage. Still not all that threatening. <coughs> so, let's just finish it off. And you didn't listen. <coughs> Come on. Work with me here. Alright. Well, that was easy. A critical hit. Pointless critical. Again. It's not a Nuzlocke run or a Let's Play without pointless criticals. Alright. We beat her. The more beautiful a flower, the faster it withers. Okay. Whatever. Oh, that's right. The hint about the next trainer. In the middle of the three trees. That's it for my hint. Good luck! Okay, thanks for that. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick. So, yeah. So, the next couple of trainers, from what I can see, have one Pokemon each at level 17. It's a little dangerous. So, yeah, you're gonna have to be careful with that. And I may just end up using Pancake to get through the whole fight. I mean, the best strategy you can have in a Nuzlocke is if you have something to take something out, you use that strategy to you use that Pokemon to take that thing out. It doesn't matter about the levels. You just don't want one Pokemon getting too much and not enough, and another Pokemon not getting enough experience. So I may spend some part of the next episode doing a little bit of training if I don't do it off screen. Here's the middle of the three trees, and our next victim. So, uh, I might just keep Carrot out in the front, get a little experience. Even when you try to conceal it, you can't hide in the aroma of flowers. Yeah, I know that. Now we have Aroma Lady Angela. She has a Turtwig. Alright. Turtwig. Let's knock it out, I guess. I'm a little scared about it, so I'm gonna switch out to Pancake. That Intimidate works. It's using Tackle. Okay. I'm really concerned about Razor Leaf, because that could critical hit and do some damage. Oh, not quite. Well, I'll, I'll quick attack it. So, another tackle. Oh, that was a critical. Oh dear. Okay, one more should do it. Alright, that was easy. Alright. Just like your inability to conceal your abundant skill. Okay. Your next opponent is beside four flowers. Four flowers. Well, there are flowers everywhere. I guess she's back up here in the corner. Yep, four flowers. And there she is. I see her hiding there. So, I'm just going to stick Pancake out in the front. Because I don't want him to get hurt. I don't want her to get hurt anymore. Hey, Giggle! You found me! Of course I'll battle you! <clears throat> Alright. This is the last trainer. You are challenged by Beauty Lindsay. She has a Roselia. <clears throat> Alright, Pancake. So let's use Wing Attack. And that was a one hit KO. What was I scared about? <laughs> so. I think that'll do it. 553 experience points. Not quite to level 20, but almost there. Oh, boo! Looks like you've beaten me! And that takes care of all the gym tra gym trainers. Giggle! There's only our gym leader left. Go on, don't be afraid. Oh, I'm terrified. So, with all those trainers being done, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. On the way back to the Pokemon Center, I will say, if you like what you watch... Like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Wildfire00972. In the next episode, we may do a little bit of training and go fight the gym leader. Until then, I'll see you next time. Oops, I'll I'll heal off screen.